up. We already got locked up, bro. You don't got nothing to worry about, my nigga. We don't need no more racial stuff going on. We just got out. Look. Well, I got you. The reason I'm asking is because I was choking the owner. So that's okay, well, yeah, we're, waiting for we're chilling, we're waiting for the owner. We already called the owner. So why don't you call him instead of harassing us coming here? Yes. What's Gucci, gang? What's Gucci, squad? I've been keeping this from y'all for, like, months now because when I do talk about it, it's like we don't know what's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm gonna do a year. I don't know if I'm gonna do two years. I don't know if I'm gonna do three years. I was gone for YouTube for two months. And when I left, came back, all y'all were gone. And I didn't even go to jail, you know what I'm saying? So three years, we're looking at the end of Young Mike, you know? Two years, we're looking at the end. And this being said, it's like, I kept it from y'all because I don't want y'all to really to feel bad for me or anything like that. It's more like, I want to explain to y'all what's going on so y'all don't be surprised when I do get a lot of time, if I do get a lot of time. This Colorado trip, we got arrested, unfortunately. And of course, it's always the wrong place, wrong time, or it's just something that's just, I have to go to court for because I can't say much about the case or any of my cases that I have right now, but I will say that I've never committed a crime. I've only been pulled over for traffic violations, which is a ticket. And then unfortunately, they always have something to say and they just don't wanna see me protect myself. My first offer was three years in prison. And this is like four charges ago. So four charges, three years they were trying to get me. Of course, I laughed at that and I thought it was pretty dumb because why would y'all try to give me prison time when I've never committed a crime? Dealing with this and trying to fight a case that was not even supposed to be there, like the honest truth, guys, is they don't wanna see you protect yourself. I got caught in a couple days. I don't know what's gonna happen. If I don't post after this, y'all know what time it is, man. So now I'm at a point where if I don't beat no cases, I'm for sure gonna do three years in prison for not even committing a crime. I've never hurt nobody. I've never robbed anybody. I've never done anything like that. It's all traffic violations and unlawful carries. I don't think somebody should go to prison if they've never harmed anybody. That's not right. That's where I'm at today, guys. I have to beat these cases. If not, I'm gonna end up going to prison for not even committing a crime. Don't y'all see how messed up this, this law system is? I need to protect myself. It's not like I want to. It's not like I'm trying to be an SGO. It's at a certain point where it's like, look, if I don't, I could die. And I'd rather be in jail than dead. Like, that's just facts. But the fact that they just don't want to see me with a gun, man, it's sick, man. They just don't want to see nobody strapped up if you're a Mexican. And I'm not even trying to go on a racial standpoint. It's just, bro, I got 13 unlawful carries. Like, what are you talking about? This is real. Like, I just hope that y'all can understand where I'm coming from and um, you know there's so much stuff man I got so much things going on and it's like I get I get one problem out the way and then another problem comes and it's just these problems are not simple problems they're like some algebra math questions type shit because these problems I have right now, it's not just something I could do in one day. It's gonna take a few months. Um, and everybody has problems, don't get me wrong, man. I'm not trying to sit here and be like, my life is, is fucked because 
there's people doing life in prison right now there's people in worse positions but just look at me man like I'm not in a position I want to be even though it might look good you know what I'm saying it might look like I'm doing good I'm doing good but not mentally you understand mentally I'm like I'm fucked court dates and bullshit man and family it's just a bunch of stuff on my plate man y'all understand what I'm saying everybody has problems that's how I know y'all understand um I just want y'all to know like I'm fighting all these cases and I want y'all to know where I'm at you know I don't want y'all to be clueless if something happens on the 11th but I do love y'all guys don't get me wrong like no homo for all the guys out there but I fuck with everybody man and I, I, I want to thank everybody for all the subscribers man all the views all the comments all the likes all the love that we get it's only when you get to a certain points where you get hate and starting you get hate as well when I first started man I was getting a lot of hate but those haters became fans because they saw no matter what they would do I never stopped I never paid attention to what they had to say I always kept going so those haters really they had no choice but to be like damn this nigga's doing his thing you know what I'm saying but regardless of all that guys sorry for the wait we are on the way back from Colorado and we didn't sleep we didn't do none of that we ended up going straight from Colorado to Texas and um doing that it was just like we already stayed there for like a few days Colorado as y'all can see part one part two part three is right when we left the mountain I couldn't really chill I had to go I said fuck it let's go back home so we drove all the way back to Texas right it was like a long trip and I had about we had about three hours left four hours left I'm driving and I'm watching this movie it was like a free movie on YouTube and um it was pretty dope so I'm kind of getting into it you know I'm not really looking at the the speed signs or anything like that right I'm just driving watching this movie and like it's crazy because when I'm watching a movie on the road it's like I forget I'm driving bro it's weird it's like I'm driving perfectly in my lane and everything and watching the street but it's like I'm watching the movie and all I see is the movie like I see glimpses of the road but I do not pay attention to that like I'm literally in the movie I'm just watching that whole like chilling you know vibing that's it if you want a road trip you watch a movie and it just kind of goes by faster than listening to music because music every song is like only a minute to three minutes so like you play a thousand songs <laughs> it's gonna seem like forever or you play like five movies you know what I'm saying but anyway I'm watching a movie I'm driving and I'm seeing these state troopers as I'm passing none of them is fucking with me you know I'm driving good but I got homie asleep in the side right here and then two homies in the back asleep I was kind of thinking like maybe they're gonna think that they're like illegal immigrants you know what I'm saying cuz this niggas asleep under a blanket type shit it just looks sus but I'm just like chilling you know we're three hours away from home I'm not even tripping you know I'm watching a movie everybody's just chilling sleep and um I look to the left and I see a law and it's not like a regular law it's like a you could just tell it's like a, a county law like some type of little small county I don't think nothing of it you know but like I honestly didn't know the speed limit because I was going behind two cars so there was one car going fast another car behind him and then it was me so I'm literally just like right behind the car but not like even tailgating just more like a good distance behind them so I'm thinking I'm not speeding like they're going faster than me why am I speeding you know what I'm saying there's no way so I'm going I'm chilling and you just see that motherfucker turn around and he goes he's all the way behind me with his lights on like I already done passed him up all the way like he starts chasing me down and shit probably hitting the gas fucking trying to get my ass in there pulls us over 
and then I put out my phone and I start recording. That's when this happened. Go ahead and do me a favor, step out real quick, okay? So as y'all see, I was kind of nervous. But I knew everything was under control because we were moving smart, you know? Everything was in place. And in my understanding, everything was in place. So he, you know, decides to pull me out. They always do that. I don't know why. Um, pulls me out and tells me about yada yada is there any weed in the car from Colorado like he already knew we were coming from Colorado which is sick it's if you come if you go to Colorado from Texas you get a notice on the way back it's a trick it's like when you come back from LA there's a thing called a checkpoint a border patrol checkpoint and they check for immigrants well, when you come back from Colorado to Texas, there's no border patrol checkpoints. So people think like, oh yeah, fuck it. It's easy, let's just go. There's not no problems. No, they trick you like that. They won't give you no problems on the way to Colorado. But when you come back, there's a certain county that's just very racist and low poverty. All they do all day is pull random people over for no apparent reason. They decided, to put us all like in front of the cop car. At this point, we're calling people like, we're not in the handcuffs yet. I was feeling an ugly bad vibe and I was trying not to think of it. I was trying to breathe because it felt like I was gonna pass out. And it just felt really ugly, like I needed water. And of course, you know, the cops are assholes. They don't give you water. They don't care about you. So, they search for a long time, they find, you know, what they find, and they just decide to be like, we're locking all y'all up. Boom, they arrest every single one of us, which two, three people didn't have nothing to do with anything and didn't have nothing on them. They just arrested everybody, all five of us. Boom, handcuffs, rested. And at this point, we're all just quiet because we know we didn't do nothing wrong. Like, we all know deep down, like, this is so petty. Not thinking of anything yet, but like, when he arrested me, I, I waited like an hour and I'm like, wow, he still hasn't read me my Miranda rights. I wonder if he's not gonna read me my Miranda rights. So I'm just really quiet and I'm just telling my brother, like, just be quiet, just be quiet, just be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't remind him of nothing. Don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell him that, but I'm just in my head like that. I'm like, fuck that. So we're going all the way to the county jail in their county. It's like a small county town. And I see the building and the building is really small, bro. It looks like a gym, like a, like for real, for like a basketball gym. You know what I'm saying? Like that size, like just a gym size county. And I'm just like, no way. This can't be, no way. I, I already knew what time it was. Once I seen how small that jail was, I knew why they arrested us for money and I'm like okay it, it is what it is you know what I'm saying let's see I get arrested and we pull up to the county as soon as we go in there's like this lady and she's like sus bro it just it was weird vibes you know what I'm saying and she pulls out this kit and she's like y'all gotta take a COVID test which one's going first? I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. I'm telling them like, nah, I'm good. I ain't taking that. Y'all ain't shoving that shit in my fucking brain. Cause she said you gotta touch your brain or some shit. I'm like, what? I ain't doing that, bro. So the first person to do that was Jew. And uh, she got she got his head, got the thing. 
and she went all the way in his brain, bro. He started coughing type shit or some shit. It was it was really bad, and I'm just like, hell no, nah, I ain't doing that. So I refused to do it. And they brought this big fat ass dude, and he came and did it to me. And I was like, fuck it, I ain't letting that girl do it. Maybe he does it less fucking aggressive, and like he did do it less aggressive. It went it went in there, but like he didn't go to my brain like fucking that girl did, bro. And um. I was fine with it, you know, it wasn't as bad as that one, so they give us COVID tests without our consent. I don't even know if that's possible because I told her I didn't want to and she made me, she forced me to take a COVID test, fam. That's pretty sick, you know what I'm saying? So from off rip right there, I felt like this is gonna be a place where they force you to do stuff and there's nothing you could do about it if you wanna get out, that's, that's how it is, you know? So it was kind of weird and sketchy at first. And peep game, we came straight from the mountain, straight from the snow, straight from a sweaty day in the mountain. You understand what I'm saying? Like my feet were stinky. I don't know. I had some like shoes on that were already stinky. So like when I put them on and I went to the mountain and then I went to the jail, sweating in my feet, <laughs> man, my shit stinked. So. Boom, they weren't tripping there like I smelled worse. I'm like damn But in me I was all in berries and you know, I got smelly feet and um Boom they cavity search us not cavity search. I'm tripping. What the fuck am I saying? They strip search us which is like they make me cough now. I do it man. I'm coughing man. I'm like <coughs> He's like cough like you mean it like I'm like bro What you want me to do like throw up like I'm coughing as loud as I can like he's like Something he said something gay and I'm just like bro nah. Boom we we get strip search apparently my homie got strip search and he made him like hold the pole and like <laughs> He said he made him twerk this shit was funny, but so after being violated by strip search um They put us in the room, so I'm looking at the rooms and I look to the right and I see three of my bros in one room. And then I see my other bro in his own room. And I'm like, okay, I wonder if they're gonna put us all in our own room. Cause I didn't want that. I don't want to be all alone. You know, I'm tripping on the shroom still like, not tripping, but like, you know, I still feel the vibrations. I don't want to be alone. I don't, I can't do that. Um, what ended up happening was they put me in the same room as my bro. Now the weird part about it all is in the hotel, it was me and my bro that was in the room. And then it was three of them in the other hotel room. And when we went to jail, it was me and bro in the cell and the other three homies in the other cell, just like the hotel. Now, that's not exactly as far as I'm gonna go. I, I wanna say some spiritual stuff, but y'all gotta watch Spiritual Mike to really figure out what I'm gonna say about what happened that day. Spiritual Mike will explain how we're in assimilation, but that day was the day I figured out that there was a glitch in assimilation that made me open my eyes. Cause remember, I was still feeling the vibrations of the shrooms. On top of the vibrations, you're still thinking really hard, just like if you're on shrooms. It doesn't go away, you know? If you learn, if your brain learns, it will stay there. Cause it's just like you learn your ABCs, what happens? Do you forget your ABCs or do you remember them? I'll let y'all answer that. But when you're thinking outside the box and looking inside the box from the outside, you stupid. It's pretty we weird to where it felt like something told us to go to Colorado and something told us to get arrested, all of us. Like it was the universe, you know? It wasn't just regular smegular like how it usually is. This was something telling us, open your eyes type shit. Like something telling us, there's more than what you know, you know? And I got to a point where we get out, okay? I get bond. We have to wait in the, in the morning for the judge, right? I didn't think I was gonna get bond because all the cases I have. Finally, I, well, I stayed up all night because you don't wanna go to sleep from my past experience from waiting for bond is you want to go to sleep at the end so we had no choice but to go to sleep or just stay up all night which I'm not gonna do 
I just came from a mountain and a long drive. So I stayed up all night talking to bro. We're not even knowing that what's going on right now. You know, we're not thinking about how we ended up in the same rooms as the hotel. We don't know nothing. We're still in the matrix and I'm still just barely peeking the learn of it. So I wake up in the morning and I see this dude with a cowboy hat on and he's in the front of the room. I wake up, we're all seeing the judge. I'm just hearing everybody's bonds and I'm the last one, of course. And he gives me my bond. My bond was 20,000. So we get these really high bonds, of course, because it is a small county, like I told y'all. And all they do is just want your money. So we take our money, we leave the county, and well, this is what happened when we were getting out. They gave us our phones, and you can see us in the cell right here. Got my shoes back, boys. All right, so after seeing us in the cell right there, we gotta go get my car, cause they impounded my car. Now, as we're gonna go get my car, we get fucking harassed by another cop in that same county. What's up, partner? What do you want? Good. What do you want? Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Come back and get our car out. Are you, what are y'all picking up? We already got locked up, bro. You don't yeah, got nothing to worry about, my nigga. No we don't need no more racial stuff going on. We just got out, look. Well, I got you. The reason I'm bashing is because I was choking the owner. So that's why. I'm okay, here. well, we're, waiting for the we're owner. chilling, waiting for the owner. We already called the owner. He said he's feeding his cows and we're waiting for So why don't you call him instead of harassing us coming here? Yes, sir. <laughs> like, why are you, why are they bugging us? And apparently this cop was a fan because I later seen him on my Instagram commenting on a video that I put him in. So it's like, are y'all profiling me, man? Did y'all know I was in Colorado and like said watch out for this car? Like y'all are really on it. Like we were not supposed to be arrested that day. Y'all just wanted our money. Anyway, what ended up happening after that, we get my car and we did back home. Now, what we realized on the way back home was some crazy stuff is that's when we started realizing that everything played out just like the hotel. When we left the hotel, we didn't go to their room in their hotel. Those three bros, they came to our room. And in jail, those three, they put them in our room when we were about to leave the jail, just like the hotel. And it kind of left my mind, but if you watch Spiritual Mike, it's always there and it's just always gonna remind me, even talking right now, it's reminding me of what I learned that day. It sounds so crazy and y'all wouldn't understand. If y'all would want to understand, Spiritual Mike is on the way. The video for that is on the way. It's probably out now if you're watching this, so make sure y'all go check it out. Spiritual Mike, just type in Spiritual Mike, you'll see my uh, new channel. Make sure y'all go run it up. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers. We could do it, guys. We gotta get people woke. Um, but it took a big twist turn of events from just thinking about being arrested to a whole nother level of the world that I didn't wasn't ready for. And I learned so much that I couldn't even chill, guys. Like, I'm not on, I wasn't on mushrooms no more. Like, like I said, it's once your brain learns the ABCs, it won't forget it. Um, now, can you distract your mind so you don't go crazy? You can, and I did, but it took like five days. So imagine just five days going in and out this Einstein state of mind where you're just learning everything. I have diagrams. I have stuff like that because I knew that what I was learning, I might forget it because I'm, I'm not thinking like this every time. I've never thought like that. I've never went Einstein mode. I, I thought people thought Einstein was crazy because what he knew. It's so hard to explain and I feel like y'all won't understand until y'all see spiritual Mike and Y'all still probably won't understand until y'all see it to believe it. Looking from the outside in, from me talking, of course.
course I'm gonna look crazy. Look at Einstein. They thought he was crazy. They thought that he was a madman. But as years go by, people realize like, bro, he was not crazy. He just knew what we never even imagined. You know what I'm Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, make sure y'all drop a thumbs up and I'll drop more story time videos. Let's get 5,000 thumbs up, man. Let's run this channel back up. I'm back, so make sure y'all just check in every other day. I'm dropping whenever I want. I don't have a schedule. So just come whenever you want to watch a Young Mike video. Just know I will supply it for you. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Okay.